Welcome to Storytime, everybody. Today we are talking about saying thank you, and this is kind of the theme for all of November, is saying thank you and being thankful for what we have. So today we're going to read a story, and it's called Thank You. And then we are going to be, our craft today is going to be a thank you card to someone we love. So you can be thinking about saying thank you to your mom, to your grandpa, to your sister, to your brother, to the bus driver, to your teacher, whatever and whoever you'd like to think. So be thinking about that as we read this story. Paul's birthday. Hi, today is Paul's birthday. He is having a party. Paul's grandma gives him a present. Paul forgets to say thank you. He goes to play with his friends. How does grandma feel? When Paul opens his present, he remembers to say thank you. Thanks, grandma. Happy birthday, Paul. Paul gives grandma a big hug. How does grandma feel now? Joel's spaceship. Joel is trying to build a spaceship. It's hard work and he's having trouble. Ah, it's falling. His brother Scott offers to help. They build it together. I'll help. There you go. The spaceship is finished. Joel forgets to tell Scott thank you. Blast off! How does Scott feel? Zoom! Joel shows off his spaceship to his dad. Look! Did you build that all by yourself? Joel remembers that Scott helped him. Thank you, Scott. Joel thanks Scott. How does Scott feel now? Pretty happy, I'd say, because his brother remembered to say thank you. Leah's mom. Here you are. Great. Leah's friends come to play at her house. Leah's mom gives them some juice. She also makes them a snack. Mmm. Here's a crown. Leah's mom helps them play dress up. See you. Bye, Leah. Bye. It's time for Leah's friends to go home. They forget to say thank you. How does Leah's, mom's, Leah's mom feel? Leah thinks about it. Thanks for a great time, mom. Leah thanks her mom. The other children thank her too. Thank you, thanks Mrs. Jones. How does Leah's, Leah's mom feel now? Saying thank you tells people you appreciate their help. People like to feel appreciated. It makes them feel warm inside. When someone does something for you, remember to say thank you. So with that, we are going to make our cards to our favorite people that we want to say thank you to. Our craft today only requires a few things, some crayons, a pencil and a piece of paper. Today we are going to be making a thank you card. So we're gonna take our paper and we're gonna fold it in half. Make it look just like the cards that you see on your birthday. Okay, and then we're gonna take our hand and we're going to trace our hand And if you need some help, you can have an adult help you with this. Okay. And then we're gonna put a heart right in the middle. And you can have an adult, or if you want to, you can write thank you at the top. And it starts with the letter T, H, 
A N K. That's the word think. And then U is spelled with a with a Y O U. And then on the inside, you can write who write it to whoever you want to. So you can write it to grandma, you can write it to mom, you can write it to dad. I'm going to write it to my kids. So I write my kids. And if you aren't able to write, you can still make a beautiful card for your friend or family member that you want to say thank you to. So I'm going to take the red crayon and I'm just going to color it in and make it pretty. And then I will give it to them the next time I see them as soon as I get home from work. And you can give it to your mom and dad as soon as you're done or as soon as they get home from work. So don't forget to say thank you to all those who do something special for you. Have a good day and thank you for watching Storytime.